Rama Tujimen, you're watching on Real TV's Prime Time. Now headlines. The State Bank of India SPI has refused to disclose the details of the electoral bonds under the RTI Act, claiming that it is personal information held in fiduciary capacity. Rahul Gandhi on Thursday said that if Congress forms the government every year, rupees 1 lakh will be transferred to the bank accounts of one woman of every below poverty line household in the country. The Central Bureau of Investigation on Thursday arrested BRS leader K. Kavita in connection with a corruption case linked to the now scrapped Delhi excise policy official said. Real estate tycoon and billionaire Thuong Mai Liang was sentenced to death on Thursday by a court in Vietnam's Ho Chi Minh City in the country's largest financial fraud case, according to local reports. Six students were killed and many others were injured after a private school bus they were travelling in overturned in Kanina, town of Haryana's Mahindragad district on Thursday. Even though the complete data are in the public domain on the Election Commission website, the State Bank of India has refused to disclose the details of the electoral bonds under the RTI Act, claiming that it is personal information held in a fiduciary capacity. RTI activist Komotu are retired. Lokesh Patra approached the SBI on March 13, requesting the complete data of the electoral bonds in digital form as submitted to the Election Commission following the Supreme Court's directive. The response furnished by the Central Public Information Officer and Deputy General Manager of the SBI said it said that the information sought by the RTI activists is containing details of purchasers and political parties and hence cannot be disclosed as it is held in fiduciary capacity disclosure of which is exempted under Section 8, Clause 1, Clause E and Clause J of the RTI Act. Batra had also requested information regarding the fees paid by the SBI to senior advocate Harish Salve for representing the bank in its case against the disclosure of electoral bonds records. The bank cited that these records are held in a fiduciary capacity and that the information is personal in nature. Batra expressed his dismay, stating that it is bizarre for the SBI to deny information that is already available on the Election Commission website. Regarding Salve's fee, he highlighted that the bank refused to disclose information concerning taxpayers' money. The Supreme Court deeming the electoral bonds scheme unconstitutional and manifestly arbitrary instructed the SPI on February 15 to provide comprehension details of the bonds purchased since April 12, 2019 to the EC. The EC was then directed to publish this information on its website by March 13. The EC published the data furnished by the SBI on the website on March 14 with the details of the donors and political parties that redeemed the bonds. Addressing a public rally on Thursday in Rajasthan, PM Modi said that the Lok Sabha election of 2024 is an election to provide new energy to the Vikshit Bharat campaign. Taking a jibe at the Congress, the PM said that in the last 10 years, the PJP brought solutions to those problems on which the Congress had given up. Congress gave the slogan of Garibi Hatao for decades, but Modi brought 25 crore of Indians out of poverty and added that the Congress left farmers on their own, but the PJP government is working to make farmers prosperous. Today, 10 crore farmers are receiving Kisan Saman Nidhi, PM Modi added. But now. कौन सांसद बनेगा या कौन नहीं बन सकता इतने भर का नहीं है ये चुनाव विकसित भारत के संकल्प को नई ऊर्जा देने का चुनाव है पिछले दस वर्षों में बीजेपी ने उन समस्याओं के समाधान निकाले जिन समस्याओं के आगे 
कांग्रेस ने हाथ खड़े कर दिए थे कांग्रेस दशकों तक गरीबी हटाओ का नारा देती रही लेकिन मोदी ने 25 करोड़ देशवासियों को गरीबी से बाहर निकालने का काम किया कांग्रेस ने किसानों को उनके हाल पर छोड़ दिया लेकिन भाजपा सरकार निरंतर किसानों को समृद्ध बनाने के लिए काम कर रही है आज देश के 10 करोड़ किसानों को पीएम किसान सम्मान निधि मिल रही है करौली धौलपुर के सवा तीन लाख से ज्यादा किसानों के खाते में भी 700 करोड़ रुपए से अधिक भेजे गए हैं पहली बार किसी सरकार ने पशुधन की भी इतनी चिंता की है करौली में अस्सी हजार से ज्यादा किसानों के पशुधन को खुरपका मुहपका के डेढ़ लाख से ज्यादा टीके मोदी सरकार ने लगवाए हैं जब कोरोना में मुफ्त में टीके लगवाए तो चारों तरफ वाहवाही होती थी लेकिन आपको जानकर के खुशी होगी कि पशुओं का भी रेटिंग ऑफ द मॉडल कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट और ऑफ 15 कंप्लेंट्स रिसीव्ड द रिटर्निंग ऑफिसर्स एंड असिस्टेंट रिटर्निंग ऑफिसर आर प्रोबिंग द कंप्लेंट्स रिसीव्ड चीफ इलेक्ट्रल ऑफिसर पुनीत अग्रवाल इनफॉर्म्ड मीडिया पर्सन्स द मॉडल कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट केम इनटू फोर्स शॉर्टली आफ्टर द पोल शेड्यूल फॉर द सेवन फेस लोकसभा इलेक्शन वॉज अनाउंस ऑन अप्रिल सेवेंटीन The CEO, along with West Parliamentary Returning Officer Vishal Kumar and others, attended the special Alpana Anushtan as part of systematic voters' education and electoral participation to educate voters on various aspects of elections. According to Agarwal, all the complaints were thoroughly checked and scrutinized on multiple levels to verify the allegations brought against the officials. Apart from this, the CEO also informed media persons that as many as 84 companies of Central Armed Police Forces have been deployed in. Till April 1. The force personnel have been deployed in different areas for area domination drives. Regular flag marches, mobile patrolling, and other confidence building drives are being carried out effectively to ensure fair polls. Central Armed Paramilitary Forces. 84 फोर कंपनीज आ गई हैं आपने देखा होगा वो अप, आ, मतलब पहली अप्रैल से फेजेज में आई हैं और अब सब आ गई हैं वो एटी फोर कंपनीज जो अलग अलग एरिया में डोमिनेट कर रहे हैं डोमिनेशन कर रही हैं आपने देखा होगा फ्लैग मार्च हो रहा है फूड पेट्रोलिंग हो रही है मोबाइल पेट्रोलिंग हो रही है कई जगह आपने देखा होगा आर ओ ए आर ओ डी ए जो आपके एस डी एम हैं एस डी पी ओ हैं वो भी जा रहे हैं और लोगों से बातचीत कर रहे हैं अगर अभी भी अगर कहीं किसी इलाके में आप लोगों को लगता है कि लोग ऐसा बोल रहे हैं मतलब मतलब जो लोग बोल रहे हैं डेमोक्रेसी क्या है जो मतदाता है वो क्या सोचता है वो उसको उसके हिसाब से मत दे पाए इसलिए अगर किसी भी इलाके में वहाँ के जो रहने वाले मतदाता हैं आपको लगता है कि उनको अपनी स्वेच्छा से वोट देने में कोई बाधा आ रही है तो आप लोग अभी भी जा सकते हैं जाके वहाँ से तथ्य लेके आए कि ऐसा हो रहा है ताकि अगर उसको आपके अलावा जब कोई और भी जाएगा कोई इम्पार्शियल वे में इंक्वायरी होगी तो वो बात निकल के आए और अगर बात निकल के आएगी तो उसके विरुद्ध एक्शन होगा लेकिन अगर आ, वो तथ्य सही नहीं होगा तो फिर उस पर कुछ किया Real estate tycoon and billionaire Thuong Mai Lian was sentenced to death on Thursday by a court in Vietnam's Ho Chi Minh City in the country's largest financial fraud case, according to local reports. Lan, 67, was accused of fraud amounting 12.5. Dollars, billion dollars, nearly 3% of the country's GDP in 2022 as the chair of the real estate company Van Thien Pat Holdings Groups. 
Lawn reportedly controlled the Saikun Joint Stock Commercial Bank illegally between 2012 to 2022 to siphon off funds amounting to 304 trillion dong, 12.5 billion dollars through thousands of ghost companies and by paying bribes to government officials. Lance arrest in October 2022 was am among the most high profile in an ongoing anti-corruption drive in Vietnam that has intensified since 2022. From early 2018 through October 2022, when the state bailed out SCB after a run on its deposits, Lun appropriated large sums by arranging unlawful loans to shell companies, investigators said. One of her lawyers said Lun would appeal the verdict before it was issued. The trial, which began on March 5 and ended earlier than planned, came as part of a campaign against Kraft that the leader of the ruling Communist Party, Mu Yen Poor Chong, has pleaded for years to stamp out, although with few tangible results. The crackdown, dubbed Blazing Furnace, has sent hundreds of senior state officials and high-profile business executives prosecuted or forced to step down. The campaign has touched the highest echelons of Vietnamese politics. Former President Vo Vang Thiong signed in March after being implicated in the campaign. At one point in 2022, Vietnamese stocks suffered a $40 billion wipeout following a series of big corporate arrests, rattling investigators, investors' confidence at a delicate moment for the fast-growing economy. We'll take a short break. Keep watching. जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट से नहीं बना तो पड़ेगा रोना पानी घुसने से कंक्रीट कमजोर हो जाए स्टार वेदर शील्ड सीमेंट खराब मौसम में घर वेदर प्रूफ बनाए स्टार वेदर शील्ड जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट वेदर प्रूफ घर डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट Introducing the Nagaland Disaster Management School Safety Policy Compliance Course, a compulsory digital training platform for educators and all stakeholders in Nagaland. The comprehensive digital course comprises of eight modules that encompasses essential skills in disaster management. Explore content curated with engaging visuals, informative videos, interactive quizzes, and practical insights. Upon completion, receive official certification issued by the Department of School Education and the NSDMA, validating your commitment to ensuring safer educational spaces. Register now for the School Safety Policy Compliance Course by going on the Department of School Education website and clicking on Register. This is a mandatory course for all teachers, educators, and stakeholders in both government as well as private schools. Join us in creating a safer future for Nagaland's educational landscape. Join BSc Nursing and GNM at St. Martha Institute of Nursing, Guwahati under SN Group of Institutions. Darmat, tiger hai na? Black Tiger Cement. Join BSc Nursing and GNM at St. Martha Institute of Nursing, Guwahati under SN Group of Institutions. Darmat, tiger hai na? Black Tiger Cement. Join BSc Nursing and GNM at St. Martha Institute of Nursing, Guwahati under SN Group of Institutions. Darmat, tiger hai na? Black Tiger Cement. Join BSc Nursing and GNM at St. Martha Institute of Nursing. Welcome back. Moving further, 
Senior Congress leader Jairam Ramesh on Thursday slammed PM Modi for his stand on China and highlighted the issue of Arunachal Pradesh during a press meet in Guwahati. The Congress leader said Arunachal is and will remain an essential part of India and that PM Modi has given a clean shit to China due to which China has become stronger in their negotiation. He also stated that PM Modi should apologize. Arunachal Pradesh was, is, and will continue to be an integral part of India. No drama bazi by the Chinese on renaming names can change this basic reality. Arunachal Pradesh was, is, and will continue to be an essential part of India. And it, the greatest tribute to Jawaharlal Nehru's policies in Arunachal Pradesh is the fact that the best Hindi in India is spoken in Arunachal Pradesh. Let me also say this. On the 19th of June, 2020, just three years, four years ago, in an all-party meeting, the Prime Minister of India said, Na koi sima ke us par se aya hai, na koi hamare zameen par bhaita hai. You must have seen the video. I have tweeted the video today again. The Prime Minister has given a clean chip to China. China se koi aya nahi hai, aur na koi hamare zameen par bhaita hua hai. Amit Shah should see this video. Pradhan Mantri should see this video. I'm sure they know it. Deputy Pradhan Mantri ne a clinching diya 19 June 2020 ki na koi aya hai jin se na koi humare zameen par kabza karke bheta hua hai. Wo clinching ke baare mein to wo chup hai. Wo desh se maafi maangni chahiye. Par Arunachal Pradesh ke baare mein ye hakikat koi muta nahi sakta. What is actual reality? Honestly. What is that? Reality is the Chinese Prime Minister has met the President of China 18 times. He has sat on a swing with him. Congress leader and sitting MP of Vayanat Rahul Gandhi while addressing a rally in Rajasthan's Anupra said that if Congress forms to government every year, rupees 1 lakh will be transferred to the bank accounts of the women of every below poverty line households in the country. He said the Congress government will transfer rupees 8,500 per month to accounts of these women and poverty will be eliminated from the country. <laughs> हर गरीब परिवार में एक महिला को अच्छी तरह सुनिए हिंदुस्तान के हर गरीब परिवार में एक महिला को कहते हो चाहे छोटे छोटे कारखाने में काम करते हो अगर आप गरीब परिवार हो आपके परिवार में एक महिला को महीना का आठा से निकल जाओगे अगर आप गरीबी रेखा के नीचे हो आपके बैंक अकाउंट में हर साल एक लाख रुपया आठ हजार पांच सौ रुपया महीने का खटाखट 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 आता रहेगा और एक झटके से एक झटके से हिंदुस्तान से हम गरीबी को मिटा देंगे Six students were killed and many others were injured after a private school bus. They were traveling and overturned in Kanina town of Haryana's Mahindragar district on Thursday. One of the victims has stated that the driver was drunk and over speeding. District collector Monica Gupta said that treatment of the injured children is going on and the rest are all out of danger. The government is providing them the best possible treatment. 
She also said it has come to the notice that the private school in question was running even on a holiday and action will be taken. There was also a lack of documents in the vehicle, so an fire is being lodged against the school administration as well. देखिए ये संज्ञान में आया कि ये प्राइवेट स्कूल जो है आज छुट्टी के दिन चला रहा है इस पे एक्शन बिल्कुल लिया जा रहा है और छुट्टी होने के बावजूद चलाया गया इसलिए इसकी मान्यता रद्द करने के लिए भी ऊपर भेज दिया गया प्रपोजल कितने लोगों के बच्चों के मरने की पुष्टि अब तक प्रशासन की तरफ से अभी तक छह कैशुअलिटीज हुई है शिक्षा मंत्री ने साथ की पुष्टि छह की ऑफिशियल पुष्टि हम कर घायल कितने हुए घायल बच्चे अभी अंडर ट्रीटमेंट है हमारे ग्यारह बच्चे मातृका हॉस्पिटल रेवाड़ी में चल रहा है अंडर ट्रीटमेंट दो बच्चे का कनीना में चल रहा है और कुछ दो तीन बच्चे और हैं जिनके पेरेंट्स उनको प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल में ले गए हैं लेकिन अभी किसी की जान को खतरा नहीं है और बेस्ट पॉसिबल ट्रीटमेंट जो है सरकार के द्वारा उनका कराया जा रहा है स्कूल संचालन के डॉक्यूमेंट्स पूरे थे इनके बस जो है इसके डॉक्यूमेंट्स फिटनेस सर्टिफिकेट वगैरह जी उनकी इंक्वायरी कराने पर यही पता चला है की डॉक्यूमेंट्स में भी कमी थी इसीलिए एफ जो है स्कूल प्रशासन के ऊपर भी की जा रही है ड्राइवर के साथ इंश्योरेंस भी एक्सपायर हो गया था जी 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 वो संज्ञान में आया है ये इंक्वायरी पर की ये सारे कागजातों में भी कमी थी किसी को अरेस्ट किया गया है अभी तक कुछ बिल्कुल जी पुलिस की कार्यवाही चल रही है अरेस्ट भी हुआ है लॉ एंड ऑर्डर की स्थिति को देखते हुए मैं नहीं बता सकती लेकिन कार्यवाही पुलिस की बिल्कुल मुस्तैदी से हो रही है Earlier, Haryana Education Minister Seema Trika, who came to hospital to visit the victims, said schools should not be open during holidays. A show cause notice has been issued, and apart from that, the school has been asked to provide an affidavit of the transportation vehicle, saying that their vehicle functioned according to the transport rules and norms. She said if the driver was found drunk, then the school shall be held responsible. Leaders across Haryana and the country have expressed their grief over the incident. कार्रवाई कार्रवाई वही होगी जो इस नॉर्म्स के अंडर आती है आप तो सारे स्कूल खुल रहे हैं आप यहाँ से एक्सपोर्ट कराएं पूरे प्रदेश को मैं आज कार्रवाई क्या होगी मैं पूरे प्रदेश को ये बताना चाहती हूँ कि आज स्कूल नहीं खुलना चाहिए था इनको नोटिस शो का नोटिस जारी हो चुका है और इसके अलावा प्राइवेट स्कूल हमारे जितने हैं ये सेल्फ एफिडेविट अब इनसे हम लेंगे कि एक तो ये ये खुद ही सुनिश्चित करके हमें एफिडेविट दें कि हम ऐसा काम हम अकाउंटेबल होंगे हम नहीं करेंगे ताकि कानूनी कार्रवाई से कोई व्यक्ति बचे ना दूसरी बात कि जो इनकी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन के व्हीकल्स हैं उनका भी एफिडेविट यही देंगे कि हमारी गाड़ियां ट्रांसपोर्ट रूल्स और नॉर्म्स के अकॉर्डिंगली हैं तीसरी चीज जो इनकी गाड़ियों को चला रहे हैं वो शराब की अवस्था में पाए गए तो जिम्मेवारी पूरी तरह इनकी होगी और अभी भी आप देखेंगे कि जहाँ ये एफ उस ड्राइवर के खिलाफ दर्ज होगी वहीं साथ में प्रिंसिपल और ओनर तीनों के Haryana Transport Minister Asim Goel meanwhile said a high level committee will probe the incident and an fire will be registered against the school. He also said in March a fine of rupees 15000 was imposed on this school bus due to incomplete papers. The negligence of the school is very clear in this case. A fitness test of all school vehicles will be conducted in the state. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV. Good night.